I am so happy that you guys are here. If you are new here, my name is April. I am 28. I'm a nurse practitioner. Um, I work in primary care and aesthetics, but I also share just like a lot of my life online, healthy habits, healthy eating, working out, me and my husband, <laughs> etc. Um, so I'm happy you guys are here and don't forget to subscribe. Today is Tuesday morning we just got back from a trip to Boston this weekend which was so much fun it was so nice to like have a fall weekend it's about 8 a.m. I just made myself a little pumpkin butter latte using the pumpkin butter from Trader Joe's mixed into the espresso and then I just frothed it with oat milk it's like really good <laughs> Today I am working in aesthetics. I don't have a patient scheduled until two o'clock and then I have a few around that time. So I kind of have the morning, which is nice because we just got back into town yesterday. I did do some grocery shopping. Um, I edited a vlog, actually this vlog that you guys are seeing prior to this one and have literally been uploading it for four days and it's at 46 percent i don't know what to do my like uploads are so slow i don't know why so if you have any tips let me know okay wrote out a to-do list of everything i need to do today which is not much i'm glad that it's kind of a a chill day getting back to it but i need to go to the gym i'm filming a um, resistant hypertension video for my tiktok today if you guys don't know i film um videos on my tiktok like about how to diagnose how to treat things i usually do how i diagnose stuff and then how i treat it on my nursing forum which is on my website it's 4.99 a month and you get um some type of and you get a weekly information type blog or video and then I'm vlogging for YouTube today, obviously, and I'm filming like a day in my life for TikTok, and then I'll do my aesthetic set too. If you're looking for a spooky workout this holiday season, this is it. Using my favorite pre-workout Oxy Shred in the flavor Voodoo. Literally so good, fuels my workout. Kind of tastes like blackberry in my opinion. All right, started out with a 15 minute incline walk. It really gets you pumping. I know it doesn't sound like much, but it is so hard. Next up is four sets of back squats. I like to do AMRAP whenever I'm doing workouts, so meaning as many reps as possible. Jumped into some alternating lunges. These are the worst. Followed by three sets of squats on the squatting machine. I superseted that with some quad raises and then went into step ups. Really couldn't do any of my workouts without my Oxy Shred. It's so good. Finished working out. I am eating some leftover hot honey pasta. I made this last night. This is such a fan favorite in my house. And by my house, I mean literally my husband and myself. My dogs like it too, you know? It also makes for like great leftovers. I will have the recipe linked on my TikTok. I have two videos of me making it. Um, I've also shared it on here many times before, I think, but it's just so good it has protein fat carbs it like is literally the perfect combination and you don't have to use tofu you can use like another meat if you eat meat new rug literally like i don't know six weeks ago so i'm pretty sure that's what it is you didn't get yourself a veggie pub stuff nope didn't get any Mm. I said, I'll probably have tomorrow. What are you doing tomorrow? I don't know. <laughs> <Maybe> now. <laughs> That's the only thing on the schedule so far. <laughs> Driving around so I can eat out. Uh, no, I, no, tomorrow's not busy. I'm at school on Thursday and Friday, but tomorrow. So mm. I, like, I like days like today where I'm not like insanely busy, but I'm doing mm -hmm. like a couple hours. Yeah, it's good to break it up. And then I have time to come home and like wrap things up. Or you're gonna come down for the morning. Like, come down for the morning and back by two. Oh okay, well, let me tell you this before you get mad at me waking up tomorrow morning. What? Hi, April. If you're doing well after the storm, please remind to take the dogs outside tomorrow. Thanks. See you at 8 a.m. Why do you let her just like rule your life like that? <laughs> because. 
because uh, I need my house clean. Right. Let's talk about treating resistant hypertension and why it is so important. I'm hoping that you came from my TikTok video that talked about I am such an anxious girly right now. My room is a mess, I'll show you guys. This is the post Boston stuff that needs to be picked up. Just took a shower, washed my hair. I don't know what time it is. Oh, it's only 5.15. So I'm not like in a rush to do anything, but I just finished filming like some content for my nurse practitioner forum. I typically upload every Monday on that forum and it's some type of treatment algorithm, diagnosis, etc. But it takes me a long time to film, edit, upload, because I typically upload the diagnosis to TikTok and then how to treat to my nurse practitioner form kind of as like a teaser, if you will. So if you're looking for that type of content, definitely follow my nurse practitioner form. It's like $4.99 a month, but you get four videos of treatment algorithms and like approaches to diagnosis. It's, I think it's really worth it, <laughs> but I'm stressed because I just finished that. It's 5.15. I need to blow dry my hair. I need to put this away. Everything is going to get done. I'm working in primary care tomorrow, which I'm actually excited about because I didn't get to work last week in primary care and I just miss my patients. But what I wanted to tell you guys is this afternoon, I actually went in for a Botox appointment to do somebody's Botox. And <laughs> this is just like life in aesthetics. It's fine. It happens. But they were like 20 minutes late and then they sat down in my chair and um, I was like, well, you know, what can we do for you? And they were worried about like the DAOs, the mentalis muscle. But then they looked at themselves in the mirror and they're like, oh, it's actually not that bad. And they had only gotten Botox like two months ago. So I was like, you know what? I really don't recommend it. <laughs> and so I didn't do anything. And it was kind of, it was just a lot for, it was a lot of work to go there and like do nothing. But anyway, it's fine. It's a part of working in aesthetics. I'm going to clean this stuff up. <sighs> Probably do a little <laughs> meditation. And go on, I'm so anxious right now. the beginnings of a soup in here it's gonna be so good this turned out so good I'm gonna link this recipe down below for you guys I'm making a grilled cheese I left this open just because I am kind of like baking a piece of tofu that I'm gonna put on the grilled cheese for a little bit of protein because this does not have any protein in it but it tastes amazing good morning you guys happy Wednesday it is so dark outside this early in the morning right now like because the time the time is gonna change I think I like the first or second weekend of November like when I woke up this morning it was pitch black outside I haven't woken up this early for work in two weeks because of Hurricane Milton but anyway um, we're working in primary care today I'm excited to be working there I'm working with my friend um, who I always enjoy working with and seeing my patients I haven't seen um, and kind of you know doing what I need to do for them. I did look into every Tuesday, I go through my chart before I go back to work. That way everybody is like cleared out and it's not like too overwhelming um, to see patients and like clear out my clinical inboxes. So I do that every Tuesday before I go back and um, the staff has my number. If anything were to happen urgently, they can contact me and I'll do whatever needs to be done. But anyway, that's kind of today. We are, we have our house cleaner coming, so I got everything ready for her. And then we're also getting the floors in our room replaced today. You guys know that we replaced the dark wood floors in our kitchen and our living room, but we had leftovers, so we're like, can we please bring that into our um, living, our, not our living room, our master bedroom. So that should be happening today. I think they're coming after our cleaner comes and they said it would just take them a day so that'll be nice to just be done and i also got a new rug that i don't think we're gonna put down today because i got it i ordered a new bed a couple of weeks ago from casterly and i don't think it's supposed to come until november so we'll probably put down the new rug when we put down the new bed but anyway 
I'm gonna go put some makeup on, brush my teeth, and go to work. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <gasps> Did you hear the crisp on that? Oop. It's all right, you fought my right Good morning, you all. Today is Thursday. I'm headed to work. It is. Somebody made it online. I don't know who did it, but do you know I am always have the toast on podcasts. If you guys need a good podcast recommendation to listen to in the morning, the toast. It's so good, and they release episodes every day, so it's like the perfect commute. Um podcast but anyway I had a great day in primary care yesterday I saw a lot of patients I think I saw 23 it was supposed to be so it's gonna be like 25 but I think I had a few no shows so I saw around maybe like 22 23 but it was a good day it was like you know I like to call them like my regulars and I, I don't know I, I don't mean I don't know just like the people that I know that I've been seeing for a while Maybe that sounds a little bit better. So it's kind of nice to see them and catch up and obviously treat them. So it was a really good day. I got home around 7.30. We just ate some leftovers. I've been loving eating um, the soup that I made a couple of nights ago. It's like a fall harvest soup from Munching with Mariah. And then I'll just make a little grilled cheese on the side. And it's so yummy. And then we watched, what did we watch? Survivor went to bed but we are getting our um I think I already told you guys our flooring redone in our living room so he only got like halfway through yesterday and so our our room itself is a little bit chaotic and we needed to move some stuff around like take the mattress off the bed so that he can move the bed a little bit easier because we're not moving the bed out of the room because we have to take it apart so anyway I'm hoping that'll be done today and yeah we're working in primary care again today hoping for a good day i'm headed over to my other office uh it is so chilly this morning it is my car says 57 degrees my phone says it's like 51 degrees it feels so nice i feel like we bought we brought the fall weather from boston back to florida and it literally it makes me so happy <laughs> I, I really do miss like slightly cooler temperatures this time of year. It's, it's usually like still pretty intensely warm in October and then it starts to cool down a little bit in November for us Floridians, but this cold front that we're having is really everything. So hopefully it's gonna fuel. Today it's a great day to have a great day. Morning was very busy, but good. And my afternoon is shaping up to be just as busy if not more busy, I think I told you guys this morning, I am completely booked, sometimes double booked, sometimes double booked now that going two days a week, um, which is fine. We negotiated in my contract that the more people I see, like after 20, there are, you know, I get paid more because you really shouldn't be seeing, you know, that many patients. So anyway, <laughs> I don't want to talk about that, but, um, I'm headed to the gym right now. I'm glad that I was able to leave and get to the gym. It's 1240. I think I'm going to do a back and biceps day. And then um, we'll head back, start at 2. I am probably going to be there until I foresee that I might be at work until 8 o'clock tonight. Just looking at my schedule. <laughs> 